Hey guys, it's your half piece. Uh, this morning I just started my truck and uh, I left this truck in the road and put it over here overnight and uh, I just tried to pull out my trailer and uh, I found that I have some frozen brakes. So I'm just gonna diagnose it, what's the problem with it. So I'm gonna put a video so you guys can uh, diagnose the problem with the truck if you have uh, similar issues. Uh, first I look at the brakes. The brakes on the trailer, they were locked. Um, I tried to send some um, air into the airbags that uh, didn't uh, build up air into the uh, trailer tanks. So I diagnosed some more problems with there. So I just want to show you guys. So I'm just gonna go inside my cab and I'm gonna try to uh, release the brakes. Let's see. Um, the brakes are released over here, and now I'm gonna go outside and see uh, if uh, my brakes are locked. Alright, I'm under my trailer now, and I'm looking at my brakes. If you can see them, they are locked, and. Uh, Get all the brakes, they're all locked, and uh, now I'm gonna go outside, grab a hammer, and uh, try to uh, hammer the drums. So I hope that helps. I, I have the hammer now, and uh, to unlock the free frozen brakes, you have to hammer on the drums. Right here, sorry about the camera. We have the hammer on the drum, not on the brake. So, give a couple shots on all the axles. When the brakes are unlocked, it's gonna make a different sound, like a empty sound. But right now, it's not unlocking the brake over here. And I tried on uh, all the axles to see if uh, these are frozen drums or something, but uh, it's not. So I'm gonna go uh, look at my airline if uh, I have air coming to the tanks because uh, when I drain the tanks uh, on the tr uh, trailer, I didn't see any air. So. And I also don't see any air in the backs, so I'm gonna ch go check and uh, see if uh, there's any air coming through the airlines. <sighs> My emergency lines, ready airlines. If you look at them, and uh, my air is released inside, but uh, if you take it off, you gotta be careful because you might have pressure there. So.
airlines are filled up with uh, antifreezers and all the alcohol. And then uh, it's a uh, anti-airline train. I'm going to go inside the cab and uh, release the <coughs> emergency brake. So, see what happens. Alright, I have released the airline and uh, I'm uh, gonna wait a little bit and go outside. Alright, I feel if the pressure is coming through this line or no. So, as you can see, there's no air coming through this line. think I already tried that for so I'm gonna try this this joint I'm gonna open this joint and see if the air is coming to this joint or not so it's very easy just use any or just a wrench and open these lines
already a few minutes and uh, I'm gonna release the brake the emergency brake for the trailer and uh, I hope there is so much water brakes are unlocked that means my problem is solved if they are not unlocked then I have to use the hammer and uh, unlock my brakes I am on the mature now and as you can see my airbags are inflated too and uh, my brakes there's a little bit gap in there and you can see they are unlocked and I can hear the noise Air noise. There's another way to unlock the brakes, and that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, and that's the shortest way to do it. Uh, I'll show you that. Let's go. comments on every truck uh, it might be on a different spot but uh, as you can see the air compressor right here this is the hot line and uh, if you touch it it's really hot you have to be careful uh, now I told you I just started so it's not that hard but uh, if you have the proper tools just uh, take her just a wrench uh, or whatever tool you find to open this line and uh, all you have to do is first you have to drain all the air from the truck and uh, if you drain out all the like press the brakes and release all the air through the tanks or you can uh, pull this uh, line and drain all the air from the tanks alright so once all the air is out all you have to do is open this line right here and um, like I said, I, I'm not gonna touch it right now because you know uh, I already opened my line. But just open this line, all right. And uh, as there is no air, it's gonna be very easy to open. If there is any air in this line, it's gonna be really hard to open this line because it's pushing uh, against the line. So once you open this line, you raise it, and uh, the same thing. You put a um, anti um, uh, freeze in there. And uh, once the whole line is filled up, you have to raise it, whole line is filled up, you put it back and uh, you tie the screw and uh, you start the truck. So once you start the truck, uh, it automatically, the, the compressor is gonna push air through this line to the tanks. So once it's go to the tanks, it's gonna send air to the, through the whole system. And once you push the trailer brakes, the, the whole system uh, will be affected. With this. So uh, just let it run for a couple minutes and you, uh, your problem will be solved. But this is the easiest way to do it. Start from here, but I uh, ran the longest uh, procedure. So if there's any problem with the 
trailer brake or anything um, you know what to do now right now it's like at 20 degrees outside it's below freezing and uh, uh, it's really hard you know in this weather so it's better that you do um, uh, precaution before you go over the road or before the winter started uh, you put some uh, like a bottle or two you know through this uh, air compressor line and uh, fill up your tanks through here or there's another way you can put uh, the, uh, uh, the, the bottles directly into the tanks open the bolt on the tanks and you fill in there directly but I think this is the easiest way to do it and also um, uh, time to time you can drain your tanks by pulling these lines it's on the both sides of the tanks you know uh, right under the door so uh, pull these tanks pull these lines and drain the, all the moisture through the tanks and um, I hope uh, it helped you guys You can leave a comment and um, give me some suggestions if I did anything wrong. Uh, I'm not a mechanic or anything. I just learned these things over the road, you know, by messing up with these things. I don't have that much experience, so uh, if I did said anything wrong, please uh, correct me. Thank you.